Hi everyone, I'm Chris. We're joining you from IRTEFL and I'm here today with Robin Walker. Robin is an author, a teacher, and a teacher trainer. He's recently written one of our great position papers on pronunciation for a global world. And today he had a talk at IRTEFL about the same topic. How's it going, Robin? Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Ah, oh, fantastic, fantastic. Um, so we've obviously had a long time away from IRTEFL. Yep. Um, how does it feel to be back in person? It's, fa it's fabulous, actually. Yeah. And for me, one of the things I think we've spotted uh, through the pandemic is that, yes, it's perfectly possible to do everything online, but in some cases, it's just not as effective. Mm. So I think the panic when we went online was that we would cease to be necessary. You can just put the material online and students will go there and they will learn. But the feedback from the students themselves is that it's not that simple. And most students benefit enormously from the help of their teacher, but also the help in an, a face-to-face -face situation because something else happens and it's happening all around the conference center now. There's an energy which you do not get when you're online. And um, so, yeah, that's been a, a great learning lesson. Um, and I think it has justified the fact that teachers will continue to be absolutely necessary. They're going to be central to the process of learning. Fantastic, fantastic. It is, it is really great to be back in person. So your talk today mm. was on pronunciation for a global world. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit more about it? Uh, yeah, okay. The first thing is, um, which is something we've been talking about for a long time now, the talk pointed out that you don't need to be a native speaker to be out there using English and that in fact um, even possibly when it's being used as a global language native speakers might have to start making some adjustments to the way they use English in order that they can join the international community of users of English for global communication. Absolutely, absolutely. There was a really interesting point in the middle of your talk, which I really liked, um, where you were talking about accent yeah. and how we all carry biases around yeah, different afraid, accents. Yes. I was worried how that might go down, but the, the truth is this was a colleague um, from Birmingham, Richard Caldwell, who came to Ayatafel in Brighton a few years ago and talked about his own prejudices in terms of accent. And it was, I mean, a really brave thing to do mm. But the truth is that, um, yeah, we, we do react to accents and sometimes it's not in a positive way. And so the point I was trying to make in the talk was that we have to, to learn to accept that people will speak with accents, that everybody's accent is valid unless their accent makes them unintelligible to the person they're talking to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's really interesting. So what are some of the greatest challenges that teachers face when trying to teach pronunciation? Do you know, I'd say that the, the greatest of the challenges is this business of their own insecurities about their own accent. And so as I've traveled around principally Europe, um, non-native speaker teachers have come to me and they've told me that they basically shy away from teaching pronunciation because they don't have an RP accent. They're telling me this in totally intelligible English and I understand everything they're saying and I'm thinking, my God, you are a living example of what you want your students to do. Your students start from the same place you started from. You are a model of success and I just happen to have been born in England. So let's overcome these insecurities that teachers have. Let's also overcome, though I'm not sure how we do this, the sort of institutional obstacles that are placed in the way of teachers. So I've just been talking to a Dutch colleague. He teaches history and he's trying to qualify in Holland in order to be able to teach history in English. And he's failed one part of the exam. And the part he failed was his pronunciation. And yet I held a long conversation with him. I cannot find any fault in his pronunciation, even though I was conscious that we had different accents. That he should fail an exam in English because he doesn't perfectly imitate an RP accent. This seems to me an obstacle that we don't need. So teachers, be they teachers 
who are teaching their material, their specific subject through English or English language teachers who have these obstacles put in front of them, we need to do something about that because in the end what they do is avoid pronunciation. If you want to learn more about pronunciation, you can download our great position paper, Pronunciation for a Global World. It, cre it includes loads of useful advice to empower your teaching. It was written by Robin Walker, who you've just heard from. Robin has also got a great website with loads of practical tips and ideas on it. We've included a link to both of these down in the description below. If you want to hear more from us, please like and subscribe. Or if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that notification bell. Thanks, everyone.